Today, punters, uh, another video. Uh, this one's just about what's under the bonnet. Uh, a lot of it you'll have already seen in other videos, but I'll just do a wrap up on this. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is uh, the bonnet scoop and the original things. They have a little rubber shroud around here, and when I put the top mount, I replaced the top mount intercooler that was just dangling around, so I got rid of it. Just another cutting as well on that under the bonnet, I forgot to mention. Bought one of these um, bonnet scoop grills. Um, not worried about airflow really. It just provides airflow into the engine now and also to keep the uh, BC DC charger cool. It was uh, stainless, um, replicated as well at the same time that I did the grill and the toolbox lids. Um, instructor manuals say to use Celastic. I used construction adhesive because it was a uh, fast curing five minutes, so it was a lot quicker than having to pull the um, fiberglass or plastic bonnet scoop out then clamp it all up. I just uh, held it in place with the construction adhesive and once it was set, happy days. Did get a little bit of um, glue coming out the sides but I just cleaned that up. You can see just a little bit of it in there. Not too worried about that too much. The silver thing is um, like a dynamite material that I've had installed. It's just some leftover scrap I had. Why did I put there? No particular reason, really, no particular reason. Um, just that I could. Should also be aware that the uh, roof or the bonnet linings on these come loose quite regularly, these little studs. So you need to be aware of that. I thought about gluing the lining up, haven't got that far yet. Um, BC DC 25 charger, 25 amp three stage it's got a solar uh, input as well charges the second battery uh, it's a 90 amp hour lead crystal battery bought that from jamie's touring solutions uh, they installed it in this vehicle they installed two of those batteries in my camper trailer as well heavy as sin um, as heavy as a lead acid battery or an agm battery i run most of my accessories off that um, except the winch, I run that off the main battery. Uh, Jamie's Touring Solutions tried to convince me not to. Um, I'm sort of having second thoughts about that and um, I'm wondering whether I can run the two batteries in parallel to run the winch and also just in case the main battery goes flat as well so I can draw on the auxiliary battery. Another project at a future stage. Um, uh, the lead crystal battery is probably, well that's the second one in this vehicle. Uh, the first one got cooked and Jamie did tell me you know you shouldn't stick it in the engine bay and a lot of people say don't stick batteries in engine bays and stuff and I was just uh, stubborn headed and stuck one in and when I was at Adelaide last year um, it just wasn't holding charge and I was running two angles in the canopy off it as well so I actually uh, nicked the battery out of the camper and stuck it in here and I've replaced actually replaced the batteries in the camper with some lithium ones so I've got another spare lead crystal the original lead crystal on this um, taken the battery well for recycling. I'm not sure how long this uh, lead crystal will last, but it's um, so I probably bought them uh, four years ago, I suppose. Apart from the BCDC charger, I've got the fuel manager uh, pre filter 30 micron uh, filter there. Basic setup catch can, I've talked about that in a separate video. Um, a bunch of fusing stuck in here by Jamie's Touring Solution make them nice and accessible and he did the relay block over the other side as well so it makes it all nice and accessible look at a cheat sheet about what the relays are for but otherwise these um, fuses are actually have markings on them so you can see what they're for um, over this side um, I've got a remote worn winch controller, so it's um, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, whatever it is. Uh, I've used it a little bit. The only problem I've found is that the little cable that connects up there doesn't connect properly all the time. Yeah, worn 9.5 XP winch, not really under the bonnet, but that's there anyhow. Um, you know about the front mount intercooler already. Uh, probably not too much else happening in the underneath the bonnet um, 
a custom grill. It's the original surround and I had uh, sheet metal fabricated up and I've fitted that and then wrapped and coated it. Bar works well ARB, so the bull bar, side steps. Um, the winch cable isn't. Uh, I've done a Dyneema uh, winch cable, mean mother. And I've got the ARB front recovery point as well. Light force lights and a light force lead light up the front there. The um, covers are a little bit yellowed. Uh, I usually get some polishing and liquid and give them a good polish when I'm going to go for a long ride drive. Not too bad. And the GMA 6.6 .6 dB aerial bonnet protector, headlight protectors, uh, headlight protectors. I mean, look at the cracks. They weren't there. What was going to be? Um, not much else as far as bar work. I took the covers off the toolbox. They were just raw checker um, aluminium before and I cleaned them up and wrapped a coating. So I've done a video on that so you can have a look at that if you want to. Just another cut in from the top this time. Um, I'm actually on the roof rack just to uh, show you that it does carry a bit of weight. About a hundred, just over a hundred kegs here. And um, I'm not having problems sitting walking on the top or on the, the bar work. And uh, yeah, it's not really under the bonnet, but it's part of the bar work. And it does sustain a bit of weight. Not that I usually um, throw up 100 kegs up on the roof. Home and Reese tow bar, trig hitch, rock tamers. Same with this toolbox. Otherwise, um, standard mirrors. Um, a lot of people go clear view because they give a wider look. I can see everything out the back that I need to see on these anyhow. Um, if I hit something, they'll fall back. Happy days. I'm not going to break anything unless I smash it at speed. And it does as advertised. I can look on it and see behind. The only thing I'd comment on these Toyota mirrors, and I've had this happen in my old Land Cruiser, the um, reflector material on the back uh, corroded. So that's my second mirror on the driver's side. So that happened on a previous Land Cruiser as well. So that's a um, snapshot synopsis of Under the Bonnet.